Welcome back to another episode of Sunday Club. Sunday Club at home because we can't be with you in person. Well, I packed some essentials, boys and girls, families. I thought I'd show you some of my essential kit uh, that I take with me wherever I go. Yes, here it is. Um, it's a good solid case um, because things have changed and I um, normally don't take much apart from my, uh, my, my mobile phone, my keys, maybe my wallet wallet with me those three things maybe a, a little bag a little um, packet of tissues but things have changed as you know and um, the situation means that I have to be well organized and uh, I just want to go through the things that I keep with me so um, I've got my um, antibacterial spray with me okay so that is uh, ready to um, yeah to, to spray to make sure that it's clean everywhere I've got my uh, my hand gel in case I um, touch anything that might might need to use hand gel later to make sure my hands are clean. Uh, my, my tissues, um, small pack of tissues and a uh, large pack of tissues because um, you can't have enough tissues. Um, I have, um, oh I've got my, my gloves, um, my gloves in case that um, I need to um, hold anything which is uh, sort of hazardous or well might be dirty. got my gloves, very important, got those. Um, well, I've got because we're washing our hands a lot, boys and girls and parents. I don't know if you notice this. Your hands still get quite dry. So I've got my hand cream with me. Um, so I'll uh, put a bit of hand cream on. You know, uh, looking after the skin. Very important to do that. So um, I've got to have that with me. I wonder what you have in your kit. I don't know if you carry a uh, you know a decent um, cape like this with everything with you. It's quite. I know it can be annoying to carry wherever you go, but. Um, and not that we're going very far at the moment, but if you did have to travel out somewhere on your essential journeys, you just need to have everything with you. Oh, also I've got some uh, sweets, some chocolates there. Uh, actually, I can't give these away because these are the tabs that so we've won them for their um, third place in our Easter quiz. So tabs, don't worry, I'm not going to eat the sweets. Promise, promise. So, anyway, when you're ready to pick them up, you know where I live. Uh, I will put them on the doorstep for you. So, put the things back in my case and make sure I've got them with me and I know if I've got these with me I'll be totally and utterly fine. Maybe. Well today's story, the Emmaus Road story, got our Emmaus Road characters there to, to Jesus' friends and then Jesus shows up. You'll know the story, it's incredible. The two friends had left, had left Jerusalem absolutely distraught because they thought Jesus had had gone for good. They were just bereft. They were so, so sad. And then this stranger comes alongside them, talks with them and asks them why, what they're talking about. And gradually um, he, he explains what had already been prophesied all those years ago uh, that the, uh, the Messiah would need to suffer and that he would die. And they are puzzled by this. And then they invite him in because it's late. Come and have a, have a room at our place, come stay. And then they had a meal together. And it was in the time when Jesus said, the stranger said, can I just, just like to say thank you for this, this food? As he said that thank you prayer to his God, his father, and broke the bread. It was that moment when the two, the two friends said, oh, I now realise who you are. That's why you, you explain the scriptures to us on our journey. That's why, that's why you broke the bread. And they suddenly got it. They suddenly got it. Well, you might have watched the, the Open the Book video I just put out this week of the same story. But these are the words that I do believe we need to remember through this story and throughout this week. These are the words. So I'm going to play a game of picture. OK, so the first word is interactive, although we're going to struggle a bit. I know. So you're going to pretend I'll, I'll pretend I can hear you shouting the words out. You can uh, hopefully sort of connect with my brain, which... Many of you who've played Pictionary with me before know it can be difficult because my brain is wired perhaps a little bit differently to some brains. I have accepted that. So, the first word. Okay, first word. Um, okay, just bear with me here. All right, the first word is... Um, so, we go with... Okay, how are you thinking so far? Okay. 
You got it? Oh, hang on a minute, you probably... It's a bit... Hang on a minute, it's a bit... Can I, can I see it? Hang on, we can cope, we can do this. Okay, we got that. Okay, so, you know what that is? It's a... But, if you were to... Swing it around, it would say a different word. I can't say the word because it's Pictionary. But if you swap that around, it would say a different word. Yeah. You got it? It's okay. It's one word, but if you swap it around, this word, it's. You got that. Okay, first word, but you've got it. You've got it. Moving on. Just move on. Move on because it's uh, a lot of time. Okay. Next word. Okay. Uh, it's quite a. Yeah. A quite a. A mini. Yes. Can't really say it, can I? Okay. Um, okay. So. Okay, first bit. So this is, it's in, it's like two parts, okay? That's the first part. Um, and the second part is a, uh, yeah. Small word. Yeah, bit of a cheat that, isn't it? Bit of a cheat. Small word. Okay, I think you've got it. Okay, you're doing well. That's the first two words. I'm convinced you've got it. It's fine. Okay, third one. Ah, this is going to be tricky, but I think I've got a plan here. Okay, this word um, is um, okay. Oh, it's one of these. You play the same before. You'll know this game. How you use this. Okay. Yeah. Use that. Okay. Right. Because I can't. I can draw, I can't draw the word, but I can draw a word that like it. Okay, got it. Right, so. Okay, you all got that, you know what that is. Okay, well. Well. This is really hard, but inside, oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry, it's all right, inside there, there is, there is, yeah, and it, it sounds, sounds like, yeah, you got it, brilliant, well done, well done, amazing, right, fourth word, okay, we've got this, right, right, so, got this, we've got this, come on, Come on, what have we got on this Sunday club? Okay. 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 You got this? It's, uh, but it's, you need to be a bit, a bit, a bit, yeah. Correct. Yes. Brilliant. Okay, let's go through it, check we've got it. So we've got... Okay, we've got... Oh, I think you've got it, so I'm just going to make sure you've got it. It's God. It's dog backwards, God. God. I, S, it is, God is. Sounds like, sounds like the pith of an orange. Pith with, with. God is with. Uh, bus, but it's got to be smaller, so it's said us. God is with us. Brilliant! Who got it? Tell me who got it. Tell me who got it. Must give a prize out to the uh, the the, uh, the winning children, winning families who straight away. God is with us. Trust you. I know I trust you. Hope so. Well, the thing is, God is with us. Jesus' friends thought it was all over. They were so so worried, so so upset. They thought it was all over, not just for Jesus, but for themselves as well. And then Jesus showed up. They didn't first believe it. But when they saw him, they ran, middle of the night, ran back to Jerusalem, as fast as they could, these guys, to go and tell their friends, tell everybody that, in fact, he was alive. 
It wasn't just a rumour. It was true. Jesus is alive. Because they knew it. They had to do something about it. But the reason, the reason, boys and girls, families, the reason that they saw and knew it was Jesus is because they recognised something about what he did. And the thing that Jesus did was he actually said thanks to his father. He broke bread. and Because that's what he always did. He broke bread and thanked his father God for all he had been given. And in doing that, they suddenly thought, that's Jesus. Only Jesus does it that way. Only Jesus says it that way. Only Jesus remembers in that way. And he re reminded us all at the Last Supper, and he reminds us in the Bible, to always do that, to say thank you through communion, to say thank you for what we have. And we must keep doing that, family. We need to keep doing that, to remember that God is with us. And we can see him working. We can see him acting out. His kingdom is going, is expanding. It's it's amazing the things that are going on at the moment that we can see that God is with us. But there are moments that you'll have and I'll have many times of the day, many times of the week, when we start thinking, but you know, Lord, you know, God, you don't know what I'm dealing with. You don't know how difficult it is. You don't know how the problems that our world's facing. You don't know how my family are doing or my friends are doing or those who are sick or those who are lonely. We know all about those things. And then God reminds us, but I am with you. God is with you. God is with us. And we, when we recognise that, when we realise, like the, the two of Jesus' friends realised he was with them, it's a game changer. It's changed forever. God has a plan. God has executed his plan. He's with us. He's alive. And that's why we can celebrate that's why we can wait when we can recognise he's with us. We don't need to be afraid. We don't need to worry. We still have to face the things we face. But we face them with Jesus, not without him, with him. So we're going to finish with a song. He is our rescuer. We've got some drum beats, which I'm hoping we can click in. Let's do it. Bear with me. We can do this. Sunday Club. We can do this. He's a rescuer. He's a rescuer. We are free from sin forevermore. Oh, how sweet the sound! Oh, how grace abounds! We'll praise the Lord, our rescuer. There is good news for the captives, good news for the chains. There is good news for the one who walks away. There is good news for the doubter. Religion failed, for the good Lord has come to seek and save. He's our rescuer, he's our rescuer. We are free from sin forevermore. Oh, how sweet the sound, oh, how grace abounds. We will praise the Lord, our rescuer. He's beauty for the blind man, riches for the poor, he's friendship for the one the world ignores. He's pasture for the weary, rest for those who strive, for the good Lord is the way, the truth, the life. Yes, the good Lord is the way, the truth, the life. He's a rescuer, he's a rescuer, we are free from sin forevermore. Oh, how sweet the sound, oh, how grace abounds, we will praise the Lord, our rescuer. So come and be chainless, come and be fearless. Come to the foot of Calvary. 
There is redemption for every affliction here at the foot of Calvary. So come and be jealous, come and be fearless, come to the foot of Calvary. There is redemption for every affliction here at the foot of Calvary. He's our rescuer, He's our rescuer. We are free from sin forevermore. Oh, how sweet the sound, oh, how grace abounds. We will praise the Lord, our rescuer. We will praise the Lord, our rescuer. He's our rescuer, he's our rescuer, we are free from sin forevermore. Oh, how sweet the sound, oh, how grace abounds, we will praise the Lord, our rescuer, we will praise the Lord, our rescuer. Amen. Let me pray for us as we finish Sunday Club. Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you that when we recognise you're with us, when we recognise you're with us, you're with us, Lord, then the game changes. The fear goes away. The joy comes back. The hope is restored. And we know, Lord, that you have the rescue plan for mankind but you have your rescue plan for each one of us and Lord we're safe in that rescue plan Lord thank you you are with us help us not to forget that remind us Lord as we recognize you in the moment we recognize you in the challenge in the things we face help us this week Lord Jesus to recognize that you are indeed with us amen thank you Sunday Club thanks for joining us again hope you enjoy the rest of your day bye bye